In this video, we will learn how to outline game objects on pointer hover and selection at runtime in Unity. If I uh, my mouse hover over the game objects, you see they get outlined. And if I click on one, it will be selected. And if I click on something else, the other thing will be selected. And if I want to deselect, I'll just click outside and the game object will be deselected. In my Unity editor, I have a number of 3D game objects here and materials assigned to them. And for the outline effect, we are uh, going to use a, a, a free uh, asset from the Unity Asset Store named Quick Outline by Chris Nolle. And what you need to do is just to click it. The asset is free. Just click Add to my assets. And uh, then uh, once that is done, click Open in Unity. Then in Unity Editor, go to Window uh, Package Manager and then make sure you uh, scroll into uh, packages my assets over here and look for the quick outline assets okay uh, so the uh, quick outline asset will be here and then uh, click uh, download if 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 the option is available and once it's uh, that is done click import and then make sure everything is selected or press all and then click import. Once the import is done, you will notice that under my assets folder, we will have a new folder for the new assets called quick, uh, quick outline. So I'll just select it and go to the resources, materials and select the outline fill and then choose the color uh, for the outline that you desire. In my case, I will select something uh, like a uh, magenta color, maybe 255 over here. That's the color I'm after. And for the outline width, I'll select for my case 7, but feel free to change that based on your preference. Next, we will add a tag name to the game objects that you want to be selectable. For example, in this case, I don't want the plane to be selectable, so I won't add a tag to it. So I'll just select one game object, then under the tag, uh, scroll down and add tag, and click the plus button, and we'll uh, write selectable with capital C, uh, S, sorry, and save and then select all the game objects I want to be selectable. That's all, everything but the plane. And I will uh, uh, add the tag to them and the selectable here. And that's done. Now I'll need to create uh, uh, the script. So under the assets folder, I'll create create, uh, select create folder and we'll name it scripts. And inside the script folder, right click create C sharp file and we'll call it outline selection. Once the script file is created, I'll just create an empty game object here to attach the script to it. Create empty, call it the same, outline selection. And then I'll drag and drop the script into it and select it to make sure the script is there and then double click on the script file to open it in Visual Studio. Inside the scripts, I added lines to control the highlight and selection. And I put a link in the description to the GitHub uh, uh, place where you could download uh, the, the code from there. So this is the code. And then once that is done, I'll save and then go back to the editor and inside the editor make sure the event system uh, is there uh, imported because the code requires it so right click UI and select event system and that's it so if I click play to run the code I'll change the display sorry to the from free aspect to full HD and then if I uh, my mouse hover over the game objects, you see they get outlined. And if I click on one, it will be selected. And if I click on something else, the other thing will be selected. And if I want to deselect, I'll just click outside and the 
game object will be deselected. That's it. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.